today we're going to change out the uh, rear hub on a 2003 Toyota Corolla just some of the stuff that you might need is a PB blaster brake cleaner anti-seize thread lock a small breaker bar 12 millimeter socket some silicone spray and the part I highly recommend the uh, the new hub Timken brand that's the part number right there they're a uh, quality uh, aftermarket parts and they do a lot of uh, OEM parts also looking through the back these are the four bolts I'm gonna take out to take out the hub one two three and four I'm gonna put a little bit of PB blaster on them to uh, loosen them up while we uh, let the PB blaster penetrate for a little while let's start taking out the <clears throat> drum cover and it actually has a uh, if it's stuck there's these uh, threaded holes here that you can put an M8 by 125 metric bolt on here and just tighten it and it will help you take out the drum cover so let's do that now comes that's it now we're gonna clean all this up with some brake cleaner and uh, then we're gonna take out the four bolts holding the hub Now let's try to take out the uh, four bolts holding the hub. You want to leave the last one on there loosened so the uh, back plate doesn't fall out. If not, it's going to be just hanging on to this brake line. I think the uh, PB blaster made it very easy for them to come out. With just uh, one bolt on there and loosened, see if you can hammer out the hub in the center. Just tap it. And there it is. It's coming out. Let me finish losing this one. I'm going to go through the front now. Take it out. Once you take out that last bolt, then just go ahead and take the hub out. And hold the plate so that it's not holding just onto the uh, brake line there. So go ahead and just put a bolt on here. To, uh, so the plate doesn't hold on to the just the brake line so as you can see this is the old hub and um, you can see it has a, a curb here on the top that's the top part so as you can see the old hub was pretty bad you can hear the noise It's not supposed to do that it's supposed to be smooth here's our new one Timken and this one has a uh, no noise at all when you spin it before we uh, put 
put it in we're going to clean all this out and inside of here with a brake cleaner I put a little bit of uh, anti-seize here, around here. And then we're gonna put a little bit of a uh, thread lock on these four bolts. Put a little bit of a uh, thread lock on these four. Just a tiny bit on the tips. So now we're putting in the new hub, the uh, little rounded part here goes towards the top and hold the uh, bolts by the back with one hand and then start uh, putting in the hub. Just uh, tightening down the bolts with my hand. Now we're going to torque down the four bolts to uh, 45 foot-pounds. Let's go across. So once we uh, tighten these at four, four bolts at 45 foot-pounds, we're pretty much done. Now we're going to put the, the uh, drum cover back on. And put the wheel back on. I'm going to clean out also the uh, drum cover before you put it back on. It's probably going to be filled with dust. And uh, here's the, uh, we're gonna, before we uh, put the, the drum uh, cover back on, make sure you, uh, of course, uh, take out all the dust and also um, I like to put a little bit of silicone around here. It's snug in there and let's put the wheel back on now And that's it, and let's go ahead and uh, take it on test drive. One thing I forgot to mention, um, you don't need to replace both rear hubs. Just replace the damaged one because if you replace both, let's say, let's say the other side is okay and you replace it, um, you're actually taking out an original uh, Toyota part that could have lasted you maybe 100,000 miles more. And now you're putting in a part that could last you less than that. This one went out at 160,000 miles. So yeah, just replace the, uh, the damaged uh, rear hub. No need to replace both at the same time. And of course, uh, you can get all your parts at uh, rockauto.com. They have the, the best prices I've seen. Thank you for watching.